This week on Behind the Lens, it's my turn to showcase my favourite images. My name is Jack Perks, and I'm an underwater and wildlife photographer based in Nottingham. I'm mostly known for my work with freshwater fish, having recently filmed every species in Britain. Although I enjoy stills, a lot of my current work is now filming and producing media for groups like the Wildlife Trust, Environment Agency and Greenpeace. I also have featured and filmed for many British television programmes like Springwatch, Countryfile and The One Show. Jack is sponsored and works with various companies including Affinity Photo, Photo Speed, Cameras Underwater and Hammond Dry Suits. In 2012, I graduated the Marine and Natural History Photography course in Falmouth and have since featured in many magazines and published two books, Freshwater Fishes of Britain and A Field Guide to Pond and River Wildlife of Britain and Europe. I enjoy all aspects of wildlife, from landscape, macro, birds, you name it. So it was a tough choice to pick, but here's my three most memorable images. So this first image is of a puffin at Hermaness in Shetland. And Shetland's an incredible place. It's absolutely full of wildlife. And primarily I was there for otters, but I wanted to do puffins as well. And staying on Unts, the top island Hermaness, I knew that was the place to go get the shots. Now you park at the bottom and it's a good walk. It is a real good walk up this boardwalk to the top. So by the time you get there, you're knackered, or I was knackered anyway and you don't know what the weather's going to be like because it changes so quickly, you just don't know. And primarily Shetland is just wind, rain uh, and sheep mainly. So I didn't know if the weather was going to be any good once I got up there and it was beautiful. It was such a gorgeous evening, really warm, golden light, the sort of stuff that photographers dream of. And I thought, okay, then we're going to be in some, some good shots with the puffin. So I did some long lens stuff and I was pleased with that. I got some nice portraits, got it in kind of more standard light. Then I got more kind of golden light portraits. And I thought, can I do something a little bit different? And I decided to try and do some wide angles. Now, to be honest, it's it's been done to death there now. There's loads of wide angles at Herman S, but I still wanted to do it. I had a go and some of them were okay. There was one shot I got where it looks like a puffin's coming out of its chest and another one's coming out of its arse. It just wasn't, wasn't very good. Um, although the Telegraph used that one weirdly enough, but they didn't use the ones I liked. And then I saw this puffin standing on, on, on the point and I waited for the others to go. This one was on its own and I took the shot and I was really, really pleased. I'm a very self-conscious photographer and there aren't many pictures that I'll shout about uh, that I take, but I am really, really pleased with this one. And it's one of those shots where on its own, if that was just a landscape, it wouldn't be that interesting. It wouldn't, it'd be okay, but it wouldn't be that interesting. The puffin makes that picture completely. So I think that it's also falling into that trend of uh, wildlife and a landscape together. It, it really, really works like that. And I was pleased, really, really pleased. I was hanging off the edge. Uh, you know, you have to be very, very careful there. I mean, health and safety has not got as far as Shetland, so there's no fences or anything, so you've just got to stay away. But I was kind of in a in a spot where I, okay, get my legs in, I'm not gonna fall, let's get a picture of this puffin. And I was really, really pleased with the end result. Primarily, I am a underwater photographer. That's what I mainly do. And I'm mostly known for my river stuff, but I also have done plenty of work in the sea. And I went to the Farn Islands to go photograph seals. This was on a scuba diving trip a few years ago. I've never done it before, never been in the water with seals. I'd only ever seen them in places like Donna Nook and areas like that. And I was hoping to get a close up view of one. Um, I didn't realize how close I would get, but I got you know pretty close underwater. So got off the boat, got into the sea, and I'm in a wetsuit, so it was pretty, you know, pretty chilly. And looking around, and the seals at first were quite cautious, but eventually they made their way up to us and they were nibbling our fins. They're known as the fin nibblers. And you know, one minute you, you're, you're snorkeling along, swimming along, and you feel a tug on your leg and you look behind you and there's a bloody great big seal. So um, for the most part, they're not aggressive at all, but it just kind of makes your heart pump when you've got quite a large animal uh, biting your feet. And this seal pup was being really playful and really curious. It was going up to each of the divers and they were getting great shots and I was just waiting for my turn. And it turned towards me and it started looking at me. 
So I held the camera up and one of the golden rules of underwater photography is get as close to the subject as possible because that minimizes, um, you know, it makes the, makes the shot sharper, makes the shot uh, more contrast, just much better. So closer the better. And it was coming close and close and close. And then it opened its mouth and chomped on the camera. And half of me is thinking, wow, this is absolutely amazing. I'm pretty much photographing its tonsils. And the other part of me is thinking, oh, fucking hell, <laughs> this thing is, is chomping my camera. But it wasn't being aggressive. It was just doing this to, to see what the camera was. It just wanted to know. It hasn't got hands like me and you. So it was chewing the camera to work out what it was. So an amazing encounter. You can actually tell it's a very young seal because the teeth are very white and it's still got all its teeth. The older they get, they lose teeth, they go a bit yellow. So um, it's a pretty unique view of a seal. Now, technically, there are things wrong with it, but in terms of an experience, that's got to be one of my all-time favourite images. Now, I couldn't talk about my favourite pictures without having a fish somewhere nestled in. And it was quite hard to choose, really, because I've got so many pictures of fish, what do I go for? So I decided with this shot, which is of a grayling in a southern chalk stream. Chalk streams are amazing habitats. They are almost unique to Britain. Around about 85% of the world's chalk streams are in Britain. Um, generally quite clear, particularly the kind of further up a chalk stream you go, they're, they're normally gene clear and play host to lots and lots of wildlife. And it was mainly trout and grayling that I wanted to get. Now, with my underwater photography, I tend to use natural light. I don't use flash very often. I don't have a problem with flash, I just like using natural light. But for this particular shot, um, the fish were passing the camera in very shallow water and there was quite a lot of uh, ambient light because it was a sunny day. So I w they weren't really coming out very well, particularly as I knew they were much more colorful than they were showing up. So I got the strobe, uh, adjusted it slightly just for a bit of filling. If I do use flash, I only use it very subtly, just a little bit of filling flash. Um, and then I got this shot of the grayling. It's my favorite fish. They are absolutely gorgeous. They've got these beautiful dorsal fins. Um, the, the flash actually really helps show off the color because they're called grayling, but actually they're quite a colorful fish. They look like they should be on a coral reef more than anything. So I do, I do like grayling. And of course being a split shot, they seem to be very popular as well. So I was really, really chuffed with that. Um, and I think that's probably my favorite freshwater fish image. Well, I know this one's a little bit different because obviously I'm, I'm interviewing myself as opposed to another photographer. Hopefully you found that interesting. Um, don't forget to like, like the video, share the channel, comment down below, and obviously subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Why not check out these other interviews here? Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.